welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Survive the Blood Moon, for the most part. I mean, I didn't technically die, but I did uh, make a couple mistakes, learn from them a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of these things. Actually, you know what? I don't need that. Get out of here. I'm back at the town, though, because I have a little bit of revenge for these stupid dogs that were after me so much. I, I, I've got a little bit of a different strategy this time. I don't even know if these guys are here. I don't hear them. I looted those two buildings over there. And I started looting the jail. And I started looting one of these buildings called Shotgun. So kind of what my plan is. I've got a couple of little spikes for them. I've got a couple of things up my sleeve a little bit. Oh, hey, was that some more? I need some more arrows. Bad. Which means I need some more feathers. So. Okay, I don't, I don't hear them. There was like 9 to 12 of them last time. That was a ridiculous amount. Hopefully they're gone. Hopefully I don't even have to worry about these guys so much. But that's kind of my main worry right now. I kind of wanted to clear them first. Oh, you know what? I probably don't need to try and clear them first. I need to probably go set a bedroll down because I forgot to do that. I've got one, but I've also got my little hut. I guess I should probably check on that as well just to make sure everything's okay. But preliminarily... Is that even a word? I think that's a word. <laughs> if it's not, I just made it up and it's fine. It's completely fine. But I need to make sure that my little hut is actually okay from the blood, first blood moon. And it should be. I, I don't know why there wouldn't, why it wouldn't be. I mean, I had spikes all around it. I wasn't actually there. It should be perfectly okay. Ooh, what's in this garbage? Hey, some more stuff that I don't really need, but I'm going to go ahead and take anyways. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, hey, my house is okay. It's great. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Let's go ahead and open it up. Make sure there's no zombies in here. Like we had in the last episode. That was ridiculous. And I'll start unloading some of this stuff in here. And then we'll get going back to the town. Oh, this this brings back terrible, terrible memories. <laughs> I'm, I'm at the scene of the crime once again. But I've yet to see any dogs, which is a good thing. I'm not going to complain about that. But I was, I was getting prepared for a fight. Now, I'm sure I'm going to run into something pretty nasty over here. I, there's, I'm bound to be. I do have a different idea, though. And just in case I do start running into these dogs... Oh, hey, that is a water tower. Okay, focus, Mace. Focus. There's a zombie over there. There's a really big tree. There's another home. I don't see any of these guys. Yeah, we should be good. But, worst case scenario, I'll just run inside the jail and close those steel doors. That should protect me and allow me to kill a couple of these guys without having to uh, to die so quickly. And I can probably put some spikes in there from inside the jail cell, outside the jail cell. If that makes any sense whatsoever, let's go ahead and go in here. I don't hear any. I don't see any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can just go in here, shut the door, and be protected. Now, can I go ahead and place some of these on the outside? No, I can't. All right. Well, regardless, I could just bar the door and I, I would I would be okay. I would be able to survive. It takes a couple seconds. So in that time frame, I got to be really, really quick, really, really fast. I didn't even notice this was here. Oh, dang it. Okay. Well, <laughs> either way, it's okay. So let's go ahead and check out the shotgun place. I, I busted the door down, but that's as far as I got. Do you hear any? I don't hear any. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Maybe they all came. Oh, 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 boy. <laughs> uh, this game, this game. Oh, my God. That was, uh, yeah, that was embarrassing. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, there's a zombie pig. Oh, nope. That's a dog. Seven. Seven. Okay. All right. We're good there. We're good there. It's going to come out this way. He's going to hit the spikes. The dog's going to hit the spikes. Okay. Killed him. Oh, my gosh. That guard dog and this cowboy <laughs> scared the crap out of me. Come on, stupid. Oh, how did you get through? Crap! Crap, 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 crap. Pistol, pistol, pistol. Suck it. Stupid. 
Stupid little dog. Okay, I heard something else that I'm kind of curious to see what the heck it was. Uh, hello? Zombies? I need to get rid of these remains because that makes me super, super slow. Where are you at? The door busted through. Is there somebody in here? It's undetected. Oh, there's probably something back there. Okay, let's go ahead and grab these things really quickly. That I can bust open. Dad, come at the safe is locked again. The door's unlocked, though. There's got to be something upstairs, maybe? Wow. Okay. All right, cabinet. What's up here? Nothing. What about up here? Ooh, ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is this? Chrysanthemum seeds. That's not too bad. What's the... Uh... There's got to be, like, a door or something, maybe? Yes, there is. That's a pretty protected door. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's do the nice little handy trick of bust open th this door. So we can shoot this guy. Got him. All right, come on, give me a headshot. Oh, uh, I wonder if he's, yep, he's getting up. Okay, come here, cowboy Bill. I think he might be done. Yes, he's definitely done. Okay. Grab the rest of these. This is already going better than expected. <laughs> to be entirely honest with you. Hey, more glass jars. Best thing ever besides more levels. And I got some bandages. That's pretty good. Anything else over here? No, just a busted through. Okay. Oh, that's the... Oh, that's right. That's right. There's stairs on the outside of this of this house. I didn't remember that. Let's just bust the door down. Get my bow out. There's a roof. And another door. And another thing over here. Oh, if I don't find something good... Hey, a splint! It's if I break my leg. That's gonna be great. Anything up here? Whoop! Oh, yep. Okay. Crap. Die, stupid cowboy Bill. You're not going to get me. You're not going to get me. Nope, not today. Got him. Okay. I, I think that's probably the only one up there. <laughs> I think if I saw that correctly. Now, I don't have a wrench anymore. Oh, shotgun short barrel. That's fantastic. I saw a gun and got excited. Okay. Anything else up here? Just some trash cans and some feathers. But hey, we could always use the arrows. Now, another thing that I could do, I could just run to one of these buildings and climb the ladder. That should be good to be able to take on these dogs just because, I mean, they're dogs. They, they can't climb uh, ladders. They can climb stairs, but definitely not ladders. So that's, uh, that, that's a good thing to do. There's also another room back here, looks like. Probably need to check this out. Then we can start moving on to the, these other houses after we un, after we loot our stuff. Okay, that that's super weird. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple of these other boxes that are in here already, and then start making my way throughout the rest of this town. Yeah, that's that's the plan. Let's let's go ahead and loot this one first, though. What is this? Gun store. Oh, 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 three slots available. Three things. Rifle, uh, sniper, schematic. Read this. Shotgun, receiver. Thank you. Shotgun, short, stock. Thank you. Okay. I'm, I'm getting on my way to be able to make a shotgun here, which is going to be really, really nice. I still can't make anything gunpowder wise. Oh, come on. How, why is the gun store... Not to even have anything. Oh, okay. How long would it take to bust this thing? That would take forever. Okay. That that might be something I have to end up doing, though. It might be. I don't know. We'll see. On the way back to drop off my stuff. And I see a derpy deer. Can I kill? Oh, get stuck in the house, idiot. There's only one way out now. I've never seen this, actually. <laughs> I've never seen a deer get stuck in the house. Well, that's a... Uh... Hello, deer. Hello. Hello. Oh. Come on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit him. Did you go down? Where the hell did you just go to? Um. Okay. <laughs> D 
Oh, there he is. I was like, there's no way that he completely disappeared. But I don't know if it's going to be worthwhile to uh, to chase. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nailed him. One more hit. One more hit. It should be good. I also got to be careful of dogs and wolves and everything else. Come back this way. Come back this way. Okay. Come here. God, these things are so derpy. Oh, wait. wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Quit running. Quit running. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Got him. Yes. Okay, now I need to go ahead and just get the shiv, right? I think that's what this is. Yep. Getting some flesh. This is perfect. And I'm already increasing my blade weapons. Ooh, there's a house over there. But it's not going to be nearly as good as uh, this whole city, probably. I don't know. It could be, but I doubt it. I think I might have found my new blunt mood spot. I've pretty much cleared, uh, well, from this hill all the way over. So that's like, I don't know. That That's a lot of buildings. <laughs> and I still have what looks like to be a completely nether portion of the town to do. This is a massive place. Absolutely massive. I've found lots and lots of cool stuff. I have this building right here. There's a lot of these, actually. But there's only a few that are really this secure. So most of this is all stone. Let's see how much... Each of these takes, yeah, 1,200 hit points. That's huge. That is a huge difference. Now, eventually, I'm going to be able to, to go ahead and start making some of this stuff on my own with the concrete mortar mixer and all that other stuff, but I I really like this area a whole heck of a lot. Uh, let's see if I can get a little bit of a better vantage point to kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. Yeah, all the buildings over to the right, the, these are all the ones that I've done so far. I still have that one to do, that one over there, that one over there, and pretty much all the way over there. And it looks like there's also two or three. Is that a third one? Holy smokes. That looks like there's three different water towers, and I have no idea what that thing is over there. That looks insane. There's a couple zombies down there. There's like almost, <laughs> well, from what I've come across so far, it's like it might as well just go ahead and be unlimited resources so far. I mean, this is a huge difference from everything that I've found so far. Usually that's like, uh, here's a building over here, over there. I've found so many different schematics. I pretty much almost have the complete leather set. Let's take a look at the skills and I'll, I'll just show you guys. Wait, not skills. Let's go to, nope, nope. Let's go to the crafting. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so I can do, I don't have the animal hide stuff learned, but I do have the leather, most of the leather things already learned. Yeah, leather boots, chest armor, gloves, leather hood, not the poncho yet. And I've done scrap gloves, scrap armor, yeah, this is really, really good. And this isn't even any of the stuff. I've probably gathered over a thousand iron so far. A ton of gas barrels, which I can use to set traps later on when the blood moons get a little bit more difficult. I've found a couple of wrenches. I've found a couple of really good things. The only thing I haven't really found yet are weapons. Uh, I've found quite a few like shovels and things like that, that the ones that I don't need, I can go ahead and just change over and scrap those. That really, really helps. But if I could get a building like this, that would be really, really, really helpful for me. It's extremely helpful. Matter of fact, I've already upgraded the little shack, the little gathering shack, as I like to call it. But I do want to go ahead and check out a couple of these other newish buildings, because a lot of the buildings are pretty much built the exact same way. That's pretty much more or less the same layout. Let's go ahead and kill this zombie. Come here, idiot. Oh, suck it. Right in the noggin. Hey, level up. That's a perfect way to level up. So I'm going to do this one later just because they're, I mean, like I said, they're pretty much all the same. But this one's new. This one's new. I'm excited to see what's actually in these, though, because you never really know. I've gotten some car batteries from destroying some cars because I got this really high level wrench. Well, I say it's really high level. It's not that high level, pretty sure, but it's really high level for me. Plus, I can get a whole bunch of leather from these cars, too. Oh, it's just so great. Is there anything in this mailbox? Paper. That, that's great. I have no idea what paper is actually used for. Oh, this one looks uh, fun. Looks like it's a restaurant. What's going to be the easiest way to get into this building? Through the glass, maybe? Let's see if I can... 3,000? Are you serious? What about this? Oh, it's unlocked. Holy crap, that's the first door that's been unlocked. Hey, there's a chick behind the cash register. <laughs> that's phenomenal. Okay, let's see here. What 
is my best method. I always like to go into these houses. You guys probably know because you've seen it a little bit. But I like to go in all stealthy-like if I can because that makes things a little bit easier. Let's see here. And the loot's pretty much random. I mean, there's a couple places that it's not necessarily random because uh, there's like a bookstore. Usually it's got some good schematics. The shotgun store had some shotgun stuff. Like some stalks and things like that. Oh, hello. It's a nurse. Got her. Get this cheerleader zombie. Oh, two headshots, baby. That's amazing. Did I hear anybody else? Probably. I'm sure there's got to be more zombies in here. More bullet casings. I've got well over 100 glass jars. <laughs> Which, uh, I guess I don't really need that much. I've had to make so many trips back and forth. I'm really going to have to start going through my stuff just to alleviate it. And you know, it's honestly getting to the point where I might not even go back to the original base because there's not like it's the, the there's like a couple things I might grab, but the rest of it might just leave. Because honestly, what's the point? If I can get really, really good stuff, that's a lot better than what's over there. The resources that I'm gathering. Ooh, okay. Hello, zombie nurse. Do, do you see me? I guess you don't see me. Wow. That's uh kind of weird. How do you not see me? Oh, now you do. You thought you were going to get me. Heck no. Trash bin. No. Let's see over here. Some wood. Why is there wood in a trash can? That makes no sense whatsoever. Is there anything back over here? Oh, there's a hallway. Okay, I got to be careful. Well, I don't have to be that careful. I mean, I'll be all right. Any more gunpowder, iron arrowheads? Oh, my inventory is already full again. Golly. It's, it's almost like I have to go to... <laughs> I have to go... To one house, a big house, and then go all the way back over to the thing. I really, really wish. Oh, I think this thing is a hospital. Is that what this is? Wow. Okay. All right, that's fine. I, I'm not going to complain here. It's super, super dark in here, too. Now, this is not going to be so fun. Are these locked? Oh, there's a guy. There's more than one guy over there. Is this all connected? It sure is. Is there anything in here? Maybe it's a... Oh, God. Okay. I don't know what you are. Whoa. Um, okay, let's just go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know what that guy was. Holy crap. Am I infected? Nope, not infected. That was horrible. <laughs> Talk about worst case scenario. Oh, my God. My heart is racing so fast right now. Can we go ahead and use, like, a... Let's use a painkiller. Come on. Use painkiller. Come on. I'm going to drop the brass on the ground. I'm going to drop these glass jars. It's right in flesh. Okay. All right. I I can I can kind of do this. <gasps> okay. It's a spider. I think I actually have a mission to kill these guys. Oh, are you serious? Come on. No, 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 no. Not today, sucker. You're not so bad when you're uh, when you're walking now, are you? Ha ha! Suck. That was a horrible, horrible noise. I think I have to kill a couple of these. Ooh, white t-shirt. We'll go ahead and scrap that. Yeah, there's a couple. There's like a mission, a sticky note or something that I found. And apparently, I have to kill a couple spiders. And that's okay. Here's fat cop. Are you radiated? What are you? Jeez, oh, geez, Louise. Why are you not going through the door? Is my question. Oh, he throws up. Wow. Um. Okay. You know what? I'm kind of curious. If I can run over here. Let's let's try something really fast. I want to see. Oh no 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Let's uh let's grab one of these barrels. Okay. You're over there. That's fine. That's fine. I think this thing's worth like a thousand gasoline or something. Okay, there's another zombie over there. Oh my god! I didn't realize you shoot so far. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hit the barrel. Oh shit! Okay, how does this? How does this work? <laughs> Come on, Barrel. I thought I could use this as an explosive. Do I not just destroy it? 
Okay, I guess not. I guess that's not what happens. All right. Okay, 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 okay. I guess we'll just try and kill this guy. Oh, here's the nurse. Um... What? <laughs> what just happened? Are you explosive? Maybe it's just the cars. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. How can you throw up behind you? Oh my god. I have no idea how many this guy's going to take. That is a lot. Why are you running? Um, okay. He exploded. So, oh my god. That was, uh... Can I not loot you? Okay, I guess not. Wow. <laughs> that was insane. And this barrel, uh, didn't really do much of anything. Wow, that's, that's incredibly surprising. Um, okay. Now, what's... Hmm. I'm worried about going back in here. Because there was a lot of zombies back in that back room. Like a lot. Let's, let's just go ahead and get this out. Oh, wow. Um, okay. <laughs> they busted through all of that. I think this lady might not be dead. Yep, that's, that is absolutely correct. Good thinking, Mace. Uh, okay. So there was this over here. Let's, oh, scrap armor legs. Wait, why can't I read this? Oh, I've already learned it. Okay, what do I, what happens? I hear something. I got paper from that. Oh, sniper rifle schematic. Iron leg schematic, eh? Oh, I've already done the sniper rifle. That's right, that's right. Oh my god, that was terrifying. I thought I might have just messed it up because I think I just scrapped it. Ay, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. Let's just, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. I might have lost some pretty good loot because it looks like... Do I hear something? I feel like I hear a, a thump. Ooh, another sniper rifle schematic. Oh, that's a base price. So maybe I can sell that. Let's go ahead and take... Oh, you construction worker? All right, you're over there. Come on. Come on. Let's just go at the back. Oh, there's an upstairs too. Yes. All right, construction worker. You're going to die today, sucker. Ooh, forged iron. That's the first I've ever gotten at that. That's amazing. I don't even have to forge anything. Because that's like my next thing that I need to do is forge. Because that's going to be really, really important later on, I guess. So I can get an upgraded base and all sorts of great stuff. Let's check this dumpster out. Glass panes. I don't really know if I need to do that right now. But I do know that it's extremely loud. So any zombies are definitely going to hear that. Okay, any others back here? No. There's a washing machine. What? Oh, there's a leather duster. Let's scrap that. I don't need one. I've already got one. Come, some cloth fragments. I can't actually take, I don't think. Washing machine? Nope. Let's get rid of these large bones because I've got plenty of those. This says it's a salon, but why was there like a bloated cop in here? Ooh, scrap these, uh, uh, what are these? The cooking pots? I'll get a whole lot of iron from that. And this wrench. Let's go ahead and grab this one as well. Because I think that's used for the recipe for the workbench. That and a claw hammer. Now, I've yet to actually find a, oh no. It's already full. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to come back then. That's, ooh, painkillers and wood. We'll go ahead and take, we'll go ahead and take that. <laughs> all right, all right. I need to calm down. I need to get back to business. I need to focus. But I will come back. I will open these boxes. And I definitely need to check out up top here really fast. There's some, um, there's an air conditioner. Oh, hello. Okay, now I'm hunted. That's great. I should have done better than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. All right, come on. Got her. And one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Boom, baby. Done. Brass. Okay. These boxes are so random. Oh my gosh. Like, they just don't really make any sense. There's a washing machine on the very top. There's a gas barrel. There's a sink. There, well, there's two sinks. And then whatever is in this one. That makes absolutely no sense to me. <laughs> and a wall oven. Wow. Oh, large beef rations. Thank you very much. I don't mind if I do. Short iron pipes. Let's see here. Some more cans. We can go ahead and scrap that. Short iron pipe again. And then another washing machine with some cowboy boots. Ah, yeah. Let's go ahead and scrap that one. 
And then I guess I could always come back here and get the metal pieces from this. What is... What does that actually give me? What is this? Mechanical parts? Okay, I can always come back and get these. I'm not really feeling like it's super important at the present moment because I'm going to still be here for a while. And I've got all these washing machines. I've got all these air conditioners. It just keeps getting better and better. Is there any... What the heck is that? Oh, that's, that's metal. Wait, did I just fix that? Huh. That doesn't make any sense. I kind of wonder if that's like a hatch to go down to something, maybe? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a possibility. What's over here? Oh, okay. Let's take a look at the map really fast because I'm kind of curious to see. The trader's down this way. So technically, if I follow that road... No, that road. If I follow that road around, it'll probably take me there easier. But then there's also wolves and all sorts of other things over there too. Ay, 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 ay. Well, I've got this house and then the rest of this town. It's probably going to take me a couple days to do this. So what I'll most likely end up doing is going ahead and finding one of these homes and or building my own again and making that my new, <laughs> my new place for the next blood moon. I feel like I'm going to keep doing this until I find a really, really good spot. But then I always run the risk of uh, finding a really, really good spot and then not actually... Uh, and then, like, trying to go around to a new spot and it just not being as good. That's always possible. But I really hope that it's not. But you never really know. <laughs> Either way, it doesn't really matter. We'll we'll figure it out. If we have to go back to a new spot or a spot we've already been to hole up and make our, our ultimate fort, we'll definitely do that. But, I mean, come on. This building looks amazing. It's daunting. It's got a tree. I can make a little bit of a farm. It's not nearly as big as what I was hoping because I thought about making a pretty substantial farm. But I don't even know. We'll figure it out. Either way, I think uh, I think it's going to work out for us in the end. So let's go ahead and go back to the house. And there's plenty of other things that I need to go ahead and do. And I'm going to show you some of the schematics and some of the things that I've already gotten. Some of the schematics, like I said earlier, I've already learned. But some of them, I just haven't yet. Just because I kind of wanted to show you guys what they were. Home sweet home. Check this thing out. This actually isn't that pretty. <laughs> it looks like a... It looks like a porcupine, kind of. But I've pretty much done it to where I've just added a whole lot more spikes. I've started to go around and, and upgrade pieces and parts of the outside of the base just to make... Oh, stupid cactus. God, I hate those things. Anyways, I've just kind of been going around upgrading this as I can without trying to use too much of the metal because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to smelt this stuff. But this is great. And finding this 315 wrench helps a billion times. Because it's just so much faster. But before I get lost into that, check out all of this. Look at this. This is insane. We've got uh, 35 leather now. We can get tons more of that. We've got cooking pots we can demolish. Found a couple of clothes, demolished a couple of cars. We got some springs. We got some radiators. We got some electrical parts. We've got almost 2,000 gas between this box and another box. We've got the shotgun receiver, short shotgun, the shotgun short barrel. All of these things, a freaking paintbrush. So now I can just go through and then 43 paint. So I can go ahead and just start painting some of the houses I've already done. That's going to be super helpful. We found a steel shovel. We found a couple of corn and thing like things like that. We've got 35 bucks. We've got 108 Duke's tokens, 37 bullet casings, a 306 mining helmet. So I can see at night. Oh my gosh. Just the possibilities are, are they're, they're really racking up. Now, as far as the schematics go, check this out. I found uh, Exploding Crossbow Bolt. <laughs> Let's go ahead and learn this one, because why not? We also found an SMG schematic. Yes, please. Thank you very much. We also have an auger schematic. Learn how to repair and assemble augers by reading this schematic. Boom. So, something that I did that I think I might have completely messed up on are some of these extra schematics and things. I've accidentally been scrapping them which I know you guys who've been playing the game you're like oh Mace what the heck are you doing dude you're an idiot I know I'm sorry I started thinking about this the base price is 500 so I'm pretty sure at the traders which since it's a trader we should be able to start selling things so if these schematics are worth 500 and like that I mean that's just money that I'm throwing away because I'm just making paper out of it you know how much paper I found a ton a ton. I can always go back through here and, and start getting more paper and things. That's something I really should have done. Um, but let's go ahead, just in case, since I do have the forged iron. Wait, hold on a second. I'm kind of curious to see. Workbench, let's see what the schematic is for that really fast. What's What the requirements are anyways. We need 25 forged iron. 20 mechanical parts. We'll have more than enough. We've got a wrench. We can get all the wood we need. I need a claw hammer. 
So I need to hold on to this. I thought about upgrading the door, but honestly, I should be okay for now. Should be is the keyword here. But I mean, look at this also. I've got a lead car battery. I've got a couple of padlocks. I have no idea what these are for. Can be used to protect vehicles from theft. Okay, that's great, but I don't, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand that one at all. Um, there's, yeah, there's a couple of those. We've got 900 more gas over here. Lots of radiators. Lots of stuff. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. Plus small engines. Really, really good engine. Really, really good battery. I think that's going to be used for the mini bike. I couldn't be entirely sure. I'm pretty sure though. I don't even know. But what I do know is that I'm going to go ahead and call this the end of the episode, guys. It's been extremely productive. I need to get my wellness back up. I did sprain my leg because, well, I've got a sp uh, splinted leg because I, I accidentally fell off a building. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, so, yeah. But as far as, as I'm concerned, I think this is going pretty well. Pretty dead game well. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.